everybody. So good to see you again. Today, I'm going to read a very important story, but it is long, so I'm going to make videos for each chapter because I want to give us enough time to think about what we read. This is the story of Harriet Tubman, and it's a biographical book. What that means is that it's a true story about her life. Chapter one, a leader is born. There she is. Meet Harriet Tubman. Araminta Ross wasn't the type of child people imagined would grow up to become a leader. In fact, Araminta was born with many odds against her. Surprisingly, her biggest challenge would be the reason why she became known as the brave leader, Harriet Tubman. That's because she was born into a life of slavery. Slavery is a system in which people are treated like property and forced to work for no wages. Araminta's journey to become Harriet Tubman wasn't easy. Her entire family was enslaved. What that means is her entire family was forced into working and were treated like property and did not get paid for their work. As a child, she saw her parents and siblings struggle as they worked on a plantation. Now let's look at the definition of plantation. An estate that uses manual labor to take care of crops and agriculture, such as cotton, tobacco, and sugar. Because Araminta's family members were slaves, they didn't receive pay for the hard work they were forced to do. When Araminta was just five years old, she was forced to work as well. As Araminta grew older, she became determined to free herself and her family from slavery forever. On her journey, in search of freedom, Araminta grew from a young slave girl into the courageous woman, Harriet Tubman. Harriet spent much of her life helping enslaved people gain their freedom as well. She put herself in danger countless times to help others. Harriet even served as a spy during the American Civil War. When Harriet became known for her brave acts, she used her fame to help even more people. So how did Harriet's amazing story begin? Harriet's America. Around the year 1822, that was a long time ago, Harriet Green and Benjamin Ross had their fifth child, a daughter named Araminta Ross, who would grow up to become known as the hero Harriet Tubman. Historians believe Araminta was born on a plantation in Dorchester County, Maryland. So if you know where New York is, this is where she was born. The exact date and location of her birth isn't known because she was born enslaved. Araminta was often called by her nickname, Minty. She was one of the many descendants of African people who were captured and sold into slavery in the Americas, the Caribbean, and many British colonies. Enslaved people were considered property. The Brades family owned Minty's parents, which meant that they also owned Minty. Because Minty's parents were enslaved, 
they couldn't afford to buy her presents. But Minty's father was a good carpenter and he made a wooden cradle for his newborn daughter. American slavery. Slavery was a system in which some people were forced to work on plantations harvesting crops. Other enslaved people were forced to cook, clean, and take care of their owner's homes and children. In America, white people of European ancestry mainly used black people of African ancestry as slave labor. Let me tell you what ancestry means. Ancestry means a person's parents, grandparents, and other relatives going back into history. Enslaved black people were considered property and were often treated very poorly. Enslaved people were not paid for their work, and slave owners often sold them to other plantations, which separated families. By 1804, the northern states had ended slavery, so most enslaved people worked on plantations in the south. People who escaped slavery and ran away to the North were considered free. Many people tried to escape, but those slaves who were captured and returned to their slave owners were badly punished, sometimes even killed. Minty's mother was one of the Brades family's house slaves. She had to cook their meals, Minty's father was a woodworker on the plantation. He was often forced to do woodwork for neighbors too. So now I have a question for you. Did black people come willingly to America to work as slaves? True or false? They were captured in Africa and sold into slavery. Over time, very few people of African ancestry knew their true origins. Those who did had no way to return. America was the only home they'd ever known. Enslaved people's lives were very difficult. Forced to work long hours they were punished if they did not do what their owners demanded. Many slave owners were very cruel. They used whips and canes to beat their slaves. So most slaves did as they were told out of fear. They were afraid of what would happen to them if they disobeyed or tried to escape to the north. Before Minty was five years old, she did not have to work as a slave. Still, she saw the long hours her parents, siblings, and other enslaved people worked. Minty also saw her loved ones and other people being mistreated. As she grew older, Minty was determined not to spend her life in slavery.